Hopefully you have been impressed with the power of Jesus. I know I have, and it never gets old reading through the Gospels as we learn more about our Savior, Jesus Christ. So today we're wrapping up Luke chapter 8. Two things stood out to me. Number one, the woman who touched the fringe of the cloak of Jesus. She had a problem, a hemorrhage for 12 years. This would be a life-changing situation. And I can only imagine the pain, the distraught, the the hopelessness that this woman had, but she had the faith to, to recognize that Jesus could help her, could heal her. And there's something here that we see as well about his power. Uh, we, uh, we read in verse number, uh, verse number 44 that she came up behind him, touched the fringe of his cloak. Remember, the crowds were pressing around him, and immediately her hemorrhage stopped. And he said, Jesus said, who was the one who touched me? And while they're all denying it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing in on you. But Jesus said, someone did touch me, for I was aware the power had gone out of me. Uh, That's something amazing there. Uh, Jesus recognized that something had taken place, and this woman came forward, and yet he would commend her. In verse number 48, he said, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. And what a powerful story for us that, again, the the power of Jesus on display, uh, the crowds of Jesus continuing to get bigger as people know more and more about what he's teaching and what he's doing with respect to these miracles. Be sure you spend some time looking at these miracles and remembering these miracles and, and what we can learn from them and how hopefully they will make our faith grow stronger, that there's nothing too hard for, for the Lord. Uh, there's nothing too big for him that he cannot handle. And so whatever situations we may face in our lives, let's continue to trust him at all times. Take care and have a great weekend.